And in Matthew, chapter 16, verse 21, why did Jesus say to Peter, get behind me? Notice what Jesus says or what it says is happening here. From then on, Jesus began to tell his disciples plainly that it was necessary for him to go to Jerusalem and that he would suffer many terrible things at the hands of the elders, the leading priests and the teachers of religious law. He went on to say he would be killed. He told his disciples very plainly he would be killed and crucified. But on the third day, he would be raised from the dead. And that's when it says, verse 22, Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it. This shall never happen to you, Lord. Notice Jesus was announcing that he would be killed. He would be crucified and he would rise from the dead on the third day. So when Peter says, God forbid, this shall never happen to you, Jesus calls him Satan because Peter is trying to interfere with the one thing that matters most going to the cross. And this is what Satan is trying to do in each of our lives, interfere with the cross and try to tell us that we don't need the cross, try to tell us that the cross isn't powerful. But why is the cross so powerful and why is somebody interfering with that? Why does Jesus call him Satan? Because the cross is the great exchange at the cross. Jesus exchanges our sin for his righteousness, our sickness for his healing, our curses for his blessings, our poverty for his abundance, our brokenness for his restoration, our foolishness for his wisdom and the mind of Christ. No wonder Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. If Jesus didn't go to the cross, we would be doomed and sentenced to eternity separated from God. This is who and what the devil is and what he's after most. He comes to separate us from what Jesus did for us. Satan is the founder and the master of all crossless religions, crossless religions, a religion without the cross. Christianity without the cross is just good teaching. Christianity without the cross is just more of man's efforts. Christianity without the cross is just another religion. The devil's agenda is to separate us from the cross. First, he tried to get Jesus to take a deal that didn't include the cross. Now he's trying to get us to settle for a powerless Christianity.